to force it or fake anything so I just accidentally took a month off um I had so many days where I was like all right I'm gonna film today and I just I couldn't I just didn't want to um and honestly I don't know why I just wanted to apologize because I have never missed a week of uploading since I started my channel up until about a couple months ago I started going like two weeks in between I think this whole just like lull of YouTube has been the past couple months but I've been able to kind of like get a video out here and there but since starting my channel in 2016 I had not missed a week of uploading okay this lighting the sun keeps going in and out I just always had prided myself on uploading every week multiple times a week um, but I just ran into a wall I guess I don't I don't have a reason I don't have an explanation and I just wanted to apologize because I have YouTubers that I watch religiously and it's so weird to think that people enjoy my content and watch my content and are waiting for the next video. Baby, quiet. Just people looking at me that way feels so weird because I have YouTubers that I watch that I feel that way about. But I know what it's like to be like waiting for a YouTuber you enjoy to watching to upload again and you're like, hello girl. What? where are you like what's going on i'm waiting for a video so i totally get that feeling and i just want to apologize for not being here not uploading um i honestly don't know if many people cared or noticed but a few people have been dming me on instagram like yo where are you i miss your videos like what up what's up um so yeah i just want to apologize for that and hopefully i can starting now get back into the swing of things i I'm not sure if maybe it's just I am like burnt out on filming my daily like normal videos, like my normal vlogs. I don't know if that's the reason, but I just have had zero desire to pick up my camera and film like that style video, but I also haven't had any other ideas of what I want to film that's like different. So if you do have any suggestions of what other types of videos you would want to see. I know that every time I ask, uh, majority is this style videos, uh, my full days of eating, day in the life, whatever, whatever. So those will obviously still be here, but I think that sprinkling in a few different style videos will kind of help me stay creative and excited to film. So that's kind of just my thoughts. I honestly, I don't know if that's the reason and I've kind of been trying to think to myself like why do I not want to film? I think besides kind of feeling a little bit bored with what I'm doing, I also just feel like I have been in like a weird spot and I don't know what it is or what I need to change. Um, so I'm kind of trying to do some like self-reflection on that. Um, like why am I hitting this wall? What When I enjoy something so much and now all of a sudden it's hard for me to do. So I'm trying to kind of like navigate all that while still being here for you guys. So. Yeah, anyways, I just want to apologize for that. Uh, I know a lot of people will understand where I'm coming from, but I do know when you're waiting for a YouTuber to upload and you're like, yo, wait, what? where are you? Um, so I get that and I feel bad that I ever did that. I'm even having a hard time being like super active on Instagram. I just don't feel like I have anything to say or anything I want to say. And it's just like, a, it's a weird time, not only in the world, but just like internally, I just like something's off. Um, but it's weird because I have something that I'm working on that's really exciting, but I think it's almost scary. So maybe I'm just like going into a shell almost because I'm just kind of nervous and anxious over uh, stuff like that. So I don't know. I Your guess is as good as mine on what the hell is going on in here um but yeah so anyways i just want to say hi i love you i miss you guys and um hopefully you enjoyed this video it's gonna be a normal video 
You guys saw my breakfast. I went to Starbucks, uh, got the baby a puppuccino. And yeah, so breakfast, I was actually gonna do an egg sandwich with egg whites and one whole egg, and then I realized we had no egg whites. So it turned into just a bagel with one egg and cheese, so. Also, I'm not gonna go to the gym today, but I do have a workout from my first time back in the gym that I haven't posted on here yet. So that will be in this video, but it's not from today. So just a heads up. And I think that's it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. I love you, and yeah, um, I'm back. Okay, so I'm gonna make lunch now. I haven't tried this. It's just the chicken patty, but I talked about this, I wanna say in my last video, the we found like tenders of the air fried Tyson chicken. And honestly, it's really good and really crispy, so I'm assuming this is just the same thing, but in patty form. And then I'm gonna do a bag of this. We still have very minimal groceries in our house, and I've been living off of veggie pasta for months now. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be my lunch. And we'll see what I'm doing for dinner. Again, we really don't have much in the house, so who knows what's gonna happen. But anyways, yeah, that's gonna be lunch. The chicken is in the oven right now, cooking. And yeah, I think I'm gonna throw the workout in after I show my lunch. That's it for now. Okay, so here's lunch. <laughs> This chicken is so crunchy. It's so good. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this now. I have a little bit of work to do for nails, so I'll probably update you guys after the workout that I post in here, and then, yeah, we'll see what else happens throughout the day. I'm the man, I got plans. Fit the bourbon in my hand, that'll make it change the stance. I'm like, in advance, and I rarely have a chance. Rather mitigate the risk, keep my eye up on them bands. I'm like, I'm just saying, in the land, guess I'm back in high demand In my car ain't from Japan, but I drive it like I ran from the cops I'm like, damn, see you tweaking on the gram I can never understand how you claim to be a man Cause you not, I'm like, cause you less able Get these squares stretched out, that's a rectangle Tell that girl to wipe me down like a wet table And come and get your ass beat, that's a vegetable Rest in peace, I'm deceased my car is not a lease, and that's Gavinci, not a crease. From the ground, it like some cleats. I'm like, heard your homie send a leak. I listen to it, shit is weak. You should trash and hit the leak. If it ain't about the bottom line, it's not important. I don't entertain a buyer if I cannot afford it. I don't like the 808 if it is not disordered. And I really wish you would, but this is not. Okay, so I'm currently sitting here trying to add the new nails to my site. I think I'm gonna do a release on Thursday and this is kind of like a soft launch, I guess you could call it. Uh, I've been working with a manufacturer literally since like the first day that my nails released, my custom painted ones, because I've realized how overwhelming it is and how little I can actually do. Um, so this has been in the works for like a few months now and yeah, this is kind of like the soft launch because I only have a few products in hand and I have all just plain nails. But coming eventually will be my custom designs printed onto nails that are more like bulk style nails, if that makes sense. Um, so they will come with 24 nails, similarly to how you would buy from a different nail company. But they will also have my unique hand painted designs on them, which is really really exciting and yeah so i'm kind of just trying to get things up on the site um for now it's just going to be on my normal site i have the brand name and everything like that but i'm not going to like release it really until things are very close to being released in terms of i want to wait till i have my custom designs um in hand which will probably be another month or two so yeah, right now I'm just gonna stick to doing it on my website. I'm gonna do my hand-painted ones still, uh, like I have been doing every week, plus these plain colored stock, like bulk nails, if that makes sense. So I wanted to show you guys the five colors that will be coming out. I've been putting them on my Instagram, but if you haven't been like paying attention or you don't really know um, that this was kind of like my plan, this is what's happening. As you can see, right now the packaging is gonna be the same as my previous nails because I, again, I don't have everything to start a separate brand yet. 
Um, I have the packaging, but I don't have it bulk made. Like, I have it picked out. Um, I created it. They sent me a sample of it, and it looks perfect. So, I'm really excited about it. But, for now, again, this is kind of like a soft launch thing. I'm just going to be doing them in my little boxes still. So, this is going to be the shade Holy Grail. This is like the literal perfect fade ombre, tan and white. Like... I've tried to get it at a salon so many times and it's never looked this perfect. So that's probably like my favorite one. And then we have Smokescreen, which is like a really nice gray. Um, this is a glossy finish as well. Now you can see that these come like almond stiletto shape-ish. Uh, but the cool thing about these, all of these nails except for Holy Grail, these ones are a little bit different because the underneath of the nail is this tan color. But for all the other ones, the entirety of the nail is the color. So it's gray underneath and the whole nail is gray. You have the ability to cut these, file these, shape them however you want. So typically with the stiletto ones, I'm, I like coffin shape or more of like a straight top rather than the point. So I just file the little point down to a more straight top and you can't tell because it's gray all throughout. So if you cut them, file them, etc., the edges are still that same color. So that's what's really cool about these because although these are like medium length stiletto, you could make them short square. You could make them any shape, any length you want. Obviously just shorter than this because you can't add length. But all of them are like medium length for the most part. The These are kind of like medium to long-ish. None of them are as long as the ones that I uh, previously have been creating and wearing myself. So, but I've actually been really liking this length. Maybe a little longer, but, um, so yeah. Okay. Next, we have Poppin', which this one is one of my favorites as well. I think Holy Grail and Poppin' are my two faves. But this is like a vibrant, vibrant, perfect red. It's so pretty. Um, and again, this is just a glossy finish. You can file them, shape them however you want. For me, I just wear them as is. I like the shape and the length of these ones. Serenity, which is the ones that I'm wearing right now. So as you can see, they come almond stiletto-ish and I just filed the tips down so that they were kind of more of a coffin shape, if that makes sense. And I've had these on for four days, I believe, four or five days. Um, and honestly, they still look really, really good. So. This is the light purple. And then we have Frosted, which this is a light blue, like matte finish. Almost looks like it has a fade to it. I don't believe it does, but it looks that way. For these, again, you can do the filing and shaping thing. These just have a little bit of a matte finish, but the matte to me looks almost like a frosted, like icy coating. So I really love these ones as well, actually. Um, and again, I've been posting pictures on my Instagram. Obviously, there will be pictures up on the site and everything. So, I just want to show you guys those are the five new ones that are releasing. And for these, it comes with that full set, so you don't have to measure your nails. That's a huge, huge thing. A lot of people have a lot of trouble measuring their nails and or don't want to measure their nails. So, I'm excited to kind of make it a little bit easier on the consumer. And yeah, that way, also, if one falls off or you lose one, you have another one to replace it. So... Oh, that's it for now. I just, that's kind of what I've been working on. I've been really excited going back and forth, sending over my designs, um, having them send samples once they're created and everything. And it's just been like a really cool, fun, creative thing that I've been doing. And I just think it's really unique. And I know that there are other like glue on nail brands, obviously, but the fact that I found someone who can recreate my custom designs um, and put them like digitally, I guess, um, onto a nail and just print it be printed on there is really, really cool. So I'm really excited about it. And I feel like that still holds that uniqueness to it because it's designs that I drew myself and I just send over the nails that I did and then they just kind of like mock it up and put it on nails. So yeah, that's coming. Again, this is kind of like a soft launch type thing. I kind of just want to get a few of them out and then the brand will be launching hopefully in like a month or two we'll see how everything goes i believe i'm gonna do thursday as the like launch of these 
and then obviously continuing on every week with my custom ones as well so okay love you guys um see you in a little bit for dinner hey everyone it's been a minute yes it has so we're at chick-fil-a right now this has honestly been my go-to recently yeah we don't need to stop. we've been going quite a bit yeah, we've been coming here very frequently. But, okay, I used to get the grilled nuggets all the time, which those are really good. But then I looked at the regular nugget macros and they're not horrible. Same protein. Actually, wait, no, actually the, okay, so I get the 12 count. The regular nuggets have 40 protein. Grilled has 37.5. So bad, not bad. Okay, but then 17 fat for regular, which, Okay, four and a half for grilled, three carbs for grilled, and only 16 carbs for regular nuggets. That's surprising. I would have me, expected a lot more, but actually it is like a thin breading. It's true. Higher fat, but still, it's like, and they're way it's more still delicious doable. It's the, grilled. So good. the grilled ones are good though. Let's not take anything one? away okay. from them. They the are, grilled they ones are, are good, good. but the regular ones are next level, and I thought the macros were gonna be way, way, way worse. 40 grams protein for that? It's a lot. So it's anyways, it's good. yeah, that's what I've been getting and with fries. She'd been living. Um, but yeah, the fries I think have 20 fat, which is not horrible. I mean, it's not good. But yeah, okay, we're at the window school. No. Okay, well, I'm gonna get ready for bed. And this is gonna be the last thing I eat tonight, level one. Uh, peanut butter bar. I have F45 at 7.15 tomorrow morning and I've had the hardest time waking up. I like can't get up earlier than 8.30 nowadays. I don't know why I've been staying up really late and I can't wake up in the morning so <laughs> I'm gonna try to get to bed. I think it's like 9 right now but I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep for at least two hours so I'm just gonna get a head start and get in bed. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.